You know that the earth receives heat and light from the sun during the day. But during the night, everything is dark and it gets cooler. What happens to the sun during the night? Where does it go? Let's do an activity to solve the mystery of the disappearing sun. We need a ball, a candle, an empty glass and a pen. With the pen, draw a small house on the ball. Place the ball on the glass and fix the candle in front. You can see that the candle light does not reach the whole ball. The part of the ball facing the candle is lit up while the part away from the candle is dark. Is the house in the lighted or the dark part? Yes, it is in the lighted part. Now, if you turn the ball, then the part with the house on it becomes dark as it does not receive light from the candle. If you continue to rotate, the dark part of the ball gets lit up again. You know that night follows day. Does that mean that the earth too is turning around in front of a bright lighted object? Now imagine the candle is the sun and the ball is the earth. At any time, only one half of the earth gets sunlight and it is daytime there. The other half does not get sunlight and it is night there. So, the sun does not disappear. It's due to the movement of the earth that there is day and night. Most of you must have seen a top. See how fast it spins. Just like a top, the earth too spins. The earth spins around an imaginary axis passing from the north to the south. This movement of earth is called rotation. The earth takes about 24 hours to complete one rotation. Unlike a top that can spin in any direction, the earth rotates from west to east only.